What's going on guys? Hey, my name is Logan Manzanares. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly why rents are skyrocketing and my prediction of what's going to happen through the end of 2021 and into 22 with rents. So for that, tune in. Let's go. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Logan Mazzanaris. I'm a real estate investor. I'm a husband and father. I currently own four and a half million dollars in real estate, have a cash flow of my real estate over six figures a year. And we're on our journey, me and my wife, to be able to grow to 100 units by the end of 2022. So if you want to be part of this journey and learn how exactly how you can be part of this and how you can invest in real estate, this is the channel for you. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're talking about how increasing rents right now are crippling people, but also at the same time, what is the prediction for is this going to end? Is it just the beginning? Or is there any clear path in sight? So let's talk about first why, like why are rents increasing so drastically? Well, number one is inflation, right? So as you know, we're in, in an economic uh, inflationary period where everything is skyrocketing, okay? And so that means, well, the, the cost of your gas is going to cost you, your groceries are going up. The cost of almost everything is going up. Well, guess what happens? The cost of your rent is also going to go up as well because inflation and rents, they rise together. So, but why is this happening? Well, number one is that as the cost of homes go up and the cost of being able to like to pay for services of the homes go up of, of repairs and just maintenance of the house goes up. Well, of course, the cost of that gets passed on to you as a as a tenant if you are renting. Um, and so there's just no if, ands or buts about that. With, as inflation goes up, so do rents go up as well. So that's one of the big things that has been driving this this um, this increase in, in, in rents as of late. Another thing that's happening is that taxes are, are starting to go up as well. So as as property taxes go up, well, guess what? And that means that, that that makes the mortgage of the person who owns the property that you're living in makes it go up as well. And while it's nice to think that they're just going to eat that cost, all they do is they're just going to pass it on down to you as a tenant as well. So that's another reason why our rents are going up as well. And like I talked about earlier, the, as a price as housing prices go up as well, well, guess what? Mortgages go up in general. So the same house that someone bought in 2009, 2010 for $300,000, that same home today is now worth $500,000, which basically means the mortgage on that is going to be, uh, let's say $2,000 now, where back in the day it might have been like $1,300 or $1,400. And so there's that gap in there. That's called cash flow. And that's what any sort of landlord, that's why they buy real estate is for cash flow. And so back in the day, they could rent that same, let's call it a three bedroom, two bath home. They could rent it for $1,600. They would still cash flow $400. Uh, now, they rent for $1,600, they're going to be losing $400. Now they got to make that rent $2,400 and see how that keeps on creating the spread of why the rents have to keep going up is because as people, as investors, as people who buy homes, they do that in order for them to make it make sense, they have to have cash flow. And so the only way that makes sense is if they raise rents. And so that's exactly why you're going to see rents can continue to go up, especially as people are in a buying frenzy right now, like the roasted market is hot, everyone's buying uh, because there's lots of advantages, which uh, we do have. A whole other video based on all the advantage of buying real estate. So, hey, if you want to learn about that, like click this video right up here and learn all about why you should buy real estate. Uh, but that's exactly why rents are going up as well. Now, one of the last reasons why, why rent prices are going up is because homes in general just become more valuable. Now, the, the reason that this has happened is over the last year and a half, as you know, it's happened, uh, homes have become more valuable to people. So they're able to work from home. They're able to stay home. They want the safety of their home. And so you know what? So people are looking to upgrade, downgrade, or literally use their home as an office, uh, which is actually what I'm doing right now in my home. Um, and so as people start to look like more inward and say, like, what are the resources they already have? They start to realize how valuable the place that they live in actually is, which is driving costs of, of home purchasing up. It's also going to drive costs of, of, of rentals up as well. So that is another reason why be, why housing prices have gone up so much because it actually just become more valuable to you and I. Now, what it, can you do, right? The number one thing I think you can do in order to avoid uh, being part of this trap of becoming a renter and having your rents jacked up is actually become a homeowner. That's the most important thing I actually think you can do. So if you're owning, if you don't own your personal home, I def definitely recommend owning your personal home. Now, there's so many programs out there where you literally can get into homes for zero down or three and a half percent down or five percent down, ten percent down. You can even reach out to other people who give you the help to, to pay to pay that down payment. Uh, and while it might seem a little bit more money up front, I'm telling you, it's actually cheaper to own your home than it is to rent. Not from the standpoint of just just like your mortgage payment versus rent payment. But also over the course of time, as your rate keeps getting jacked up, all you're doing is you're paying a landlord money and you're not getting any of that money back. Whereas if it's a mortgage, you're actually paying your mortgage down. You're creating some, you're, you're, you're creating some difference in your mortgage and what you owe on it. And you get, you get to participate in the upside. And like you've heard me talk about before, like I believe there's so much upside in real estate that if you're not in the game, then you can't be able to participate in it. So that's the number one thing I believe that you can do in order for you to be able to 
not worry so much about the price of the rents going up, it just become a homeowner. Now, the second piece of that is you can actually start investing in real estate too and be part of that upside and that big swing because homes and rental prices have been super undervalued up until this point. And now people are starting to see how important it is to actually be able to nice property, live in a nice place. And you know what? They're willing to pay a premium for it. So if you're a real estate investor, now's the best time ever to be a real estate investor. Okay. So if you have money in the stock market, you have, you have money in, in gold or Bitcoin, whatever it may be, like that's great, right? But if you don't have some of your money, at least a big portion of money in real estate right now, you're missing out on maybe the biggest run uh, that our nation's ever seen. So get into real estate, buy investment in real estate because all of a sudden your rents are going to like, your rents are going to skyrocket. You're going to be able to uh, have heavy cash flows, heavy appreciation. And in the next five or six years, I believe that you're going to be regretting if you don't own real estate right now. So that's the best advice I have for you of how uh, to manage um, your personal situation if rents are becoming an issue for you. And that's my prediction for what rents are going to do in the next next year and a half. But honestly, over the next four or five years, I think there's going to be big runs in, in the increase in rental market. I think this is just quarter one. Um, we're just getting started. We have to see some massive hikes in rents. And if you don't, if you don't, you know, in your market, you start to think things are expensive. Like look at, look at some of the most expensive places in the world, like San Francisco, like Hawaii, like they have astronomical rents. Um, and so just understand that it can definitely get, it can definitely go up from here. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Let everybody else know about the channel. And Hey, if you want to invest in real estate, reach out to me, maybe I can help you. So my name is Logan Manzaners and I'm out. Bye.